What is up, you guys? Hope you're doing well. We are in week three of remote learning, so I hope we're well in effect and you guys are doing well. Um, we're going to go ahead and dive right on in, though. So we're going to look at your books at page 29, number 108, okay? Now, the thing we talked about last time was working with 12-8. So um, we, we've done a lot of stuff with 6-8. Remember, 6-8 is similar to 2-4, where 2-4 is 1 and 2 and 6-8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For 3-4 is similar to 9-8. 3-4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 9-8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then for 12-8 is similar to 4-4. Four, four. So 4-4, four, four, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 12-8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So for number 108, it's all in 12-8. Now what makes this a little bit tricky, uh, one is the key signature. The key signature is definitely a little bit different than what we're used to. But in this 8th grade book, we are getting into a little bit more out there kind of key signatures. Um... The other thing is that we have a pickup at the very beginning. We've got three eighth notes that serve as a pickup. So if we're thinking about the pickup being the end of the very last measure, we've got three eighth notes. So if we're chopping off the last three eighth notes of the very last measure, okay, if you think about what the counting would be for that, that would be 10, 11, 12, okay, which is the, if we're thinking also in 4, 4, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, it's that fourth one. It's that fourth one. So this is just kind of like a pickup where I would give three and you come in on four. Okay? Here we go. This is uh, number 108, go for excellence. And I'll give you three. We come in on four. And one, two, three. care to know it, it's actually a famous horn solo French horn solo from uh, Tchaikovsky's fifth symphony anyways all right we're gonna um, keep moving on we've got a um, a minor scale number 109 um, pay attention to the key signature though it is different this is our concert a minor scale okay so pay attention to the key signature this is different than even just the last one that we did and as always there are three different kinds of minor scales the natural minor, harmonic minor, where the seventh scale degree is raised, and then melodic minor, where the sixth and seventh scale degrees are raised going up, but then they are lowered coming down. Okay? So I'm just going to play through all the three different scales, just like we normally would in class. And yeah, all that good stuff. Here we go. This is the natural minor scale. <laughs> Scale. Remember the seventh scale degree is raised by a half step. I accidentally raised the the sixth going up that time too because I had a 
just a little little air there. Uh, now the melodic minor, the last one is sixth and seventh are raised going up, lowered coming down. <laughs> So we're going to use that minor scale, and we're going to apply it to number 110, okay, the Pavan. Um, this one, percussion, I know it goes over a 15-stroke roll. I'm going to go over that in just a minute. I'm going to play through the wind stuff for the uh, brass and woodwinds, and then I'm going to come back to you guys' percussion, okay? Uh, so for, for uh, brass and woodwinds and percussion that's doing mallets, um, you can kind of tell which kind of minor scale we're using for this one based off of um, one accidental that keeps recurring twice. Um, it's the seventh scale degree that is being raised, and so if it's just the seventh scale degree being raised, we know we are using our harmonic minor scale, okay? Um, this one is... is Fairly straightforward piece. Rhythmically, it's not too bad. Range-wise, it's not too bad. Um, we are using the same key signature for the minor scale we just played, um, and we have a few instances of a dotted chord, or sorry, dotted eighth note followed by sixteenth. But we've had plenty of those by now. You guys should be pretty comfortable with them. Okay. So here we go. Uh, this is the pavan. <laughs> Show this last two again. Okay. See, so even I still make mistakes. All right. So for percussion, you guys are being introduced to your 15-stroke roll. Um, it's pretty similar to a lot of the other rolls that we've done. It's just important to know um, where that one hit is because it's just pretty much a roll similar to a 17-stroke roll. But there's one of them that's just a single hit, okay? So if we want to break it down, you'll see in the, the yellow section of your book, it even breaks it down for you. Um, if we think of it just as 16th notes, okay, we have one E and a, two E and a. Uh. That's the first version of it. One E and a, two E and a. Uh. And it's the uh at the very end that has the accent, okay? Because that's the single. Everything else is just going to be doubles. One E and a, two E and a. Uh. Okay, and so if I took that and then made everything doubles except for the last one, I would get one E and a two E and a. Okay, one E and a two E and a. Okay, now the opposite, the, the one can also be at the beginning, okay, which is what they show you in the other example. They have one E and a two E and a. One E and a two E and a. Okay. So those are the two versions of it. We can have that one at the very beginning, one, or at the very end. Okay, and they throw they throw a combination of those um, in number one ten where they're changing between the two different types of it that we have. Okay, so percussion at the very beginning we do have a fifteen stroke roll that you're going to have a lot of those fifteen stroke rolls. Okay, so here we go. Let's try percussion six, seven, and one. And rest. Now left hand lead. Go right hand. One, two, and seventeen. Okay. So the seventeen there at the end. It's it's two sets of, of 16th notes, one E and a, two E and or in that case, three E and a, four E and a, but it's doubles on all of them. That's the 17. The 15 is just that one, the one less, okay? Pretty straightforward, you guys, okay? Um, there is um, more that we, we could get to, but again, I'm trying to space it out a little bit, and I'm not trying to overload you because I know you got a lot of other work in your other classes. 
Um, again, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, um, need any additional help, please feel free to reach out. Um, I'm just sitting on the couch about 95% of the day, uh, checking email for a good portion of the day too. So if you need to, to clarification on anything, just let me know, okay? Uh, I hope to see you guys soon, and have a great day. Love you, miss you.